Hello friends, this is Dr. V. Sivana Raju, Associate Professor in EC Department, IARE. Today's topic is uh, DSBSC. DSB means double sideband suppressor carrier in both time domain and frequency domain description. So let's come into the topic. So first two types of amplitude modulation. So how many types of uh, this AM is having? So the first one you can say DSB full carrier. Actually DSB full carrier is nothing but our amplitude modulated signal. Whereas uh, another one is a DSB SC. Here we are going to suppress the carrier. Already we discussed the drawbacks of AM. Here the drawbacks of AM. First point is the power is wasted and it uses more bandwidth. So due to this uh, carrier is wastage is done. So in this technique we are going to suppress the carrier. So the first one is double sideband suppressor carrier and second one is SSB SC that is single sideband suppressor carrier that means in the first one having a double sideband double sideband means it may be upper sideband and a lower sideband so that is two sidebands okay we can call as double sideband so in this SSB, we use either one of the sideband, either upper or lower sideband. So one sideband we are using and again we are suppressing the carrier. So the name is SSB SC and third one is VSB, vestigial sideband. So these are the types of amplitude modulation. Now we are using DSB SC. In DSB SC, we can suppress the carrier component from the modulated wave. Why this carrier is a wastage of power and it uses more bandwidth. We are going to reduce. So we obtain a modulated wave that is proportional to the product of the carrier wave and the message signal. So that means here the product that is a C of T, what you call as carrier signal in product with message signal M of T. So here you can see the position of the carrier is shown in the middle FC. On the right hand side you are having upper sideband FC plus FM in lower sideband we use FC minus FM. So in DSBSC we are going to suppress that carrier. So it can shown in the figure it is in the form of a dash line. The above one is the AM amplitude wave or you can call it as a DSB FC full carrier. So in the lower picture that is uh, DSB SC. Carrier is suppressed and side bands are allowed for transmission. So this is DSB SC. Okay. Now the time domain description of uh, this DSB SC. So S of T is the uh, modulated signal of DSBSC which is equal to C of T into M of T. S of T is nothing but the product of carrier signal with the message signal that is 
our moderated DSB AC signal. So let M of T be the AC signal having bandwidth equal to W heads. And C of T is our carrier signal. It is nothing but AC cos 2 pi AFCT. So this wave which represents the DSB double sideband suppressed carrier. So here you can see the phase is reversing. The first it goes from positive to negative. Whereas in the second cycle, it starts from the negative of cycle. So the phase is going to reverse it in this DSB S. Now the frequency domain means we are going to apply Fourier transform on both sides of the equation you get uh, this uh, frequency domain. So it converts S of F that means we can take the previous uh, signal that is S of T is a modulated signal it is in the time domain and which is equal to AC cos 2 pi FCT. So here we are going to apply cos 2 pi FCT for the Fourier transform which is uh, already known that 1 by 2 of uh, m of f minus fc plus m of f plus fc. Why m of t is there? Without m of t we get uh, that is a delta function cos delta function. So you can write cos term in terms of exponentials. So by using exponential uh, we are applying the Fourier transform with the exponential function, you get a delta functions. So e power j2 pi t gives here delta of f minus fc. Whereas minus is coming in the exponential term, it is the positive. So f plus fc. Without m of t, you are having delta of f minus fc plus delta of f plus fc but uh, in the time domain description s of t is the product of c of t into m of t so m is k so in the Fourier transform also in frequency domain also this m is taking the place of delta in the below picture the frequency spectrum of that uh, dsb sc in the left hand side is uh, m of t spectrum when it converts the frequency domain, it is m of f and its bandwidth is given as uh, w. So here in the right hand side, it is a uh, dsb sc, the spectrum of dsb sc. So again, it shows two side bands, upper side band, right hand side, and the lower side band in the left hand side. Okay. So this is a time domain and frequency domain description of uh, DSB SC. In the next, we are going to the generation of DSB SC. In the next uh, topics, we are going to generate DSB SC. So here there is a message signal M of T and spectrum is shown on the right hand side and carrier signal and again shown in right hand side spectrum of carrier signal and DSBSC signal and again spectrum is shown. So in the middle the red dotted line that is the carrier is suppressed only having the side bands upper side band and lower side band. So here we are using again single tone modulation. So let M of T is a say signal. We are using only single frequency, we can call it a single tone modulation. And C of T is a carrier. So in the time domain description, we just multiplying M of T with C of T, then you get S of T is equal to AM cos 2 pi FM T into AC cos 2 pi FCT. So here the cost terms just looking like that cos a cos b. So here we are applying the treatment function cos a cos b 
which is equal to 1 by 2 of cos of a minus b plus cos of a plus b. So we are rearranging this equation s of t using this trigonometric function. So this is our s of t which is equal to am ac by 2 cos of 2 pi fc minus fm t plus am ac by 2 cos of 2 pi fc plus fm t. So this is our time domain description of the single tone modulation. When you convert into frequency domain, we are going to apply Fourier transform on both sides of this equation, then you get that one. So as shown in the below, S of F, which is equal to AM AC by 4 into delta of F minus FC minus FM plus delta of F plus FC minus FM. So FC minus FM is the lower sideband. And again, right hand side, that is your upper sideband, FC plus FM is coming. So you can see this picture, you get those for your transform which is connoted as a frequency domain. Thank you friends. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.